Picture this. The year is 1945. The world is in the throes of World War II. The world's superpowers are locked in a deadly conflict and the race is on to develop the ultimate weapon. A weapon so powerful, it could end the war in an instant. Enter nuclear missiles. Born out of the ambitious and somewhat terrifying Manhattan Project, the first nuclear missile, known as Little Boy, was a game changer in the war efforts. This atomic bomb, a uranium gun-type bomb, was dropped on Hiroshima, Japan on August 6, 1945, forever etching its name and the devastating power of nuclear weapons into the annals of history. Just three days later, another bomb named Fat Man, a plutonium implosion-type bomb, was dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. The aftermath was cataclysmic with over 200,000 lives lost and countless others affected by radiation sickness. These twin attacks marked the end of World War II, but they also signaled the beginning of a new era, an era defined by the looming threat of nuclear warfare. The world had seen the destructive power of these weapons, and nations raced against each other to develop their own. This race escalated during the Cold War, a period of political and military tension between the Western Bloc, led by the United States, and the Eastern Bloc, led by the Soviet Union. The world watched in trepidation as these two superpowers stockpiled nuclear weapons, each vying for supremacy. Nuclear missiles came to symbolize power and dominance, a chilling reminder of the destructive capabilities of mankind. The arms race ended with the Cold War, but the threat of nuclear warfare is an ever-present danger that the world continues to grapple with. So, we've talked about the history, but what exactly happens when a nuclear weapon detonates? Well, the moment a nuclear bomb detonates, it releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of light, heat, and radiation. This burst of energy is so powerful that it can instantly evaporate everything in its immediate vicinity, creating a shockwave that travels at supersonic speeds. But the immediate blast is just the beginning. The real terror of a nuclear explosion lies in the invisible killer it leaves behind, nuclear radiation. This ionizing radiation can damage the cells in our bodies, leading to a plethora of health issues. Short-term exposure to high levels of radiation can cause nausea, vomiting, and even death within days. But what about smaller doses over a longer period? Long-term exposure to radiation, even at low levels, can lead to serious health problems. It can cause changes in blood cells, leading to anemia. It can damage the cells in our bodies, leading to various forms of cancer, it can even alter our DNA, causing genetic mutations that can affect future generations. Survivors wrestled with haunting shadows as invisible radiation clung to their lives, leaving unseen scars, frequent illnesses, and a shared fear. A spectral reminder of nuclear weapons' destructive power, survivors continue sharing painful stories, ensuring the enduring echo of their ordeal. Many Hibakusha suffered from acute symptoms such as burns, injuries from the blast, and radiation sickness. But the effects didn't stop there. Years and even decades after the bombings, Hibakusha continued to suffer from an array of health issues including cataracts, leukemia, and other forms of cancer at rates significantly higher than the general population. The environment also bears the brunt of nuclear radiation. It contaminates the soil, water, and air, making them unsafe for humans and wildlife. It can take hundreds to thousands of years for the environment to recover from such contamination. The exclusion zone around Chernobyl, for instance, is still largely uninhabited more than three decades after the disaster. And it's not just the physical environment that suffers. The social and psychological impacts are profound. The fear, stigma, and discrimination faced by the Hibakusha and their descendants are a stark reminder of the lasting societal impact that nuclear radiation can have. As you can see, the effects of nuclear radiation are devastating and long-lasting, but it's not all doom and gloom. While we can't undo the damage already done, there are things we can do to protect ourselves and mitigate the effects of nuclear radiation. These include measures like staying informed about the risks, having a plan in place in case of a nuclear event, and taking steps to reduce our exposure to radiation in our everyday lives. But is there anything we can do to protect ourselves, you might ask? Well, Stay tuned for the next part of our video where we'll delve into some natural remedies that may help shield us from the harmful effects of radiation. You might be wondering in the face of such a threat, what can we possibly do to protect ourselves? Well, the good news is, there are a number of natural remedies that can potentially protect against radiation. While these aren't foolproof defenses, they can certainly bolster our body's resilience. 
Let's start with something simple. Food. Yes, you heard it right. Certain types of food can help your body combat radiation. For instance, foods rich in antioxidants like blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries can neutralize harmful free radicals produced by radiation. These fruits are loaded with vitamins and minerals that can help strengthen your body's defenses. Next, let's discuss something a bit more specific, potassium iodide. This is a type of salt that has the ability to protect your thyroid gland from radiation. The thyroid is particularly vulnerable to radiation, but potassium iodide can help block radioactive iodine from entering the gland. However, it's important to note that potassium iodide should only be used under the guidance of a healthcare professional, and it's not a one-size-fits-all remedy. Another potential remedy is spirulina, a type of blue-green algae that has been studied for its radioprotective effects. Research has shown that spirulina can help protect against radiation damage by boosting the immune system. It's also packed with essential nutrients like protein, vitamins, and minerals, making it a great addition to any diet. Now, you might be thinking, well, that's all well and good, but what about supplements? You're absolutely right. Certain dietary supplements can also provide some protection against radiation. For instance, Antioxidants such as vitamin C and E are known for their ability to fight against oxidative stress caused by radiation. Moreover, supplements containing selenium and zinc can also contribute to strengthening your immune system. But remember, while these natural remedies can help, they are not magic bullets. They are not guaranteed to fully protect you from radiation, but they can certainly help your body to be better prepared, and preparation is key. It's also worth noting that these remedies are not just for worst-case scenarios like nuclear attacks. They can also be beneficial for those exposed to lower levels of radiation in their day-to-day -day life, such as frequent flyers or those who work in certain medical fields. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's that while we can't completely eliminate the risk of radiation, we can take steps to reduce it. Eating a diet rich in antioxidants, considering the use of certain supplements, and being aware of other potential remedies like potassium iodide and spirulina can all contribute to a healthier, more resilient body. But let's not forget the bigger picture. While these natural remedies can provide some level of protection, the best defense against nuclear radiation is a world free of nuclear weapons. The pursuit of peace and disarmament is the ultimate remedy against the threat of nuclear radiation. In the end, it's about doing what we can with what we have where we are. And that includes both taking care of our bodies and advocating for a safer, more peaceful world. While these natural remedies can help, the best defense is a world free of nuclear weapons. We have explored the past, the present, and potential future scenarios. It's clear that knowledge is power. And power, my friends, is what you gain when you subscribe to NeutroBurn. Imagine a resource that not only keeps you updated on the latest health trends, but also provides in-depth information on natural remedies, just like the ones we've discussed today. NeutroBurn is that resource. It is your one-stop destination for all things health, wellness, and safety. We delve deep into topics that matter, breaking down complex health issues into easily digestible content. We believe in the power of nature and its potential to heal and protect us. Staying informed and prepared is not just an option, it's a necessity. And with NutraBurn, you'll be miles ahead, armed with the knowledge you need to navigate through life's challenges. Join us in our journey towards a healthier and safer world. Subscribe to NutraBurn today.